Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Here's Jason Laney with our forecast. And a little bit of a change on the way out there, Mike. We've got this low pressure system kind of coming in by way of the southwest, and it looks like it's going to be working its way into the western reaches of New Mexico during the evening and overnight hours. That'll prompt a few snow showers, especially in the higher terrain out west. And then as we move ahead through late Thursday, we're going to turn the focus for showers down to the south because that's exactly where the storm is headed. Notice a cool front behind this will mean cooler temperatures for couple of days, but once we get to the weekend, things are looking good once again. A major crime scene investigation is underway in northeast Albuquerque. One person is dead after what sources close to the investigation tell News 13 is a possible officer-involved shooting. The call came into police just after 9 this morning as a suspicious person call at Constitution and Eubank. We are hearing reports that they found an armed man on the scene holding a gun to his head. Now, we do not know how the situation might have escalated, but witnesses in the area recall hearing what sounded like a single gunshot or backfire from a car. The investigation is still in its early phase. We expect police to release more information about exactly what happened later today. An Albuquerque public school teacher suspected of having sex with a student is in jail this afternoon. 34-year-old Patrick Matthews teaches science at Volcano Vista High School in northwest Albuquerque. He was arrested yesterday, accused of having sex with a 16-year-old female student. The school district said it believes this is an isolated incident, but it is asking for students to come forward if they have any information about this case. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.